Ah, hello there. Um, oh, smoke on me fucking arm. Right, um, this is a bit of a different video. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter or on my Facebook or even read my blog, you know I was asked by Screen Scene, who I'm working for at the moment, here in Dublin, wanted me to put the word out about some jobs that are going. Yes, proper real work. Um, the first thing, the most important thing, is that you have a current valid EU passport and are able to work. Which is sort of given, really, isn't it? Um, so, what do they need? Right. Well, I'm the 3D lead uh, on this particular project in charge of the 3D department. I can't tell you what the project is or even what type it is, but what I can say is that they need the following. Now, they need 3D gen generalists, right? So, the jet of all trades, right? Um, obviously, modeling, texturing, rendering, lighting is pretty important as well. Uh, rigging, you know, basically, whatever your skill set is, if you cap yourself as a generalist. Um, they also need match movers. Now, if you're a match mover, I hope you got your shit hot because the guy we've got at the moment, Yango, he's brilliant. He's without doubt the best I've worked with. Um, so make sure you're on your game if you're a match mover. Um, we need lighters. Um, we also need uh, animators and I'm trying to look at my list over there. We need effects guys. Now, if you're an effects guy, knowledge of fume and uh, particle flow and cracker etc. Things like that, right, are coming really handy. Um, the more skilled the better, although there's a number of different levels available. Um, now it does mean that you get, if you're lucky enough, uh, you might end up working with me in charge. Um, now that's not always a good thing, I'm the first person to admit that, because I'm, I'm not like I am on the videos, right, when I work. Um, I'm a lot more serious, but also uh, there's a bit more of a crazy edge. You know? In fact, um, uh, John, who I work with, said, you know, you've been working here now for four weeks and you haven't managed to repeat the same swear word twice. It's an achievement, I swear a lot when I'm working. Um, so, I can't tell you too much about the job, but if you're interested, you know, I'll put the link, it's a link to my work email address, right? So if I get any freaking spam, it's going to be hell on. Right? So I'll trust you all here, alright? Uh, and I'll forward accordingly. Now if somebody whose work I know, whether I've met them or not, and I think, you know, that they're definitely able to do the job, um, more than capable, they're a nice person, yeah, then you get a recommendation. Um, that doesn't mean that that counts for everything. It doesn't. That's not a promise, really. I want to point that out. That just means that I, that's my style of saying, yeah, I know this guy can do the job. So other people would have to be tested and stuff, obviously, you know. But yeah, so it's uh, it's a good opportunity. You've always said, you know what, I'm doing better than him. Okay, prove it. I'm giving you a golden opportunity. Um, let's just say that uh, some of this stuff is unique in certain ways. I'm not going to say why. I'm not going to say anything else. I'll get, I'll get wrong in the meetings tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm on the other news. I'm, I'm sort of settled in well now. This is the flat. You can see part of in there. Uh, that's the kitchen behind me. Um, lap station, the lap stop and workstation is over there. Um, and I'm basically just plodding away now. You know, I go into work, I have meetings, <laughs> I do my work, I have more meetings, I have screenings, I have meetings, and um, you manage to do the impossible. You know, and that's not an exaggeration. Um, but I can say that this project is something I think a lot of you will, will keep yourselves for if you didn't apply for it. You know, I'm not going to say anything else, I'm really not. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, no, I went in there as a lighter, but now I've sort of, you know, a bit. But uh, yeah, so um, Dublin's a nice place, it's a lovely place to live. Um, I'm in a place called Rathlines, which is about 30 minutes reasonably slow walk to work, um, about 30 minutes walk to the centre of things at Grafton Street, Stevens Green area. Um, best thing about Dublin, there's lots of pubs and restaurants, 
And I thought, it's not exaggeration to say there's a pub on every corner and they're filled up with restaurants and then everything else is just slotted in between them. Right? Uh, if, you like, if you like Guinness, then you haven't tasted Guinness to be had it over here. Right? It's a lot better. Well, a thousand times better. Um, and it's, um, some stuff's more expensive, some other things are cheaper. Right? It's the uh, way it works. But um, I managed them to run two houses here. I'm running this place and I'm running back home. <laughs> so it's, um, it is possible, but it's the idea of being over here, the job extends this particular one until about end of March. So, um, so you've got to be prepared for that sort of thing. Now me, after I'm travelling back every other weekend, although this one has been about a month by the time I've sorted the bank out and you know, get my card sorted out over here and all the monies, what I actually use the online fucking banking. So I just had to uh, go through hell last weekend trying to get money to the wife. I use Western Union, which I don't like doing. Um, then I got a phone call after I sent the money over. Uh, my passport's expired, so she had no ID, right? Um, which meant that I went on a Sunday. Only to find it was closed. I had to go on Monday, didn't I? Then we were on the headless chicken, so I had a very, very busy week. Um, and actually just been doing a bit of freelance stuff as well, along with another guy. Uh, tonight, so uh, yeah, but tomorrow is Friday, it's Thursday now, it's Friday tomorrow, and do you know what I'm going to be fucking doing? I'm going to have a drink. And in fact, I might even end up going somewhere nice, I don't know yet. But uh, it's bank holiday, so Monday off as well, so I'm going to have a sort of nice chilled weekend and enjoy myself a bit. <coughs> so that's it, that's for this sort of week or whatever. But I want to get this one straight away, I'll put it straight away, I want to get to work tomorrow. And uh, yeah, just send me an email, I'll wrap, wrap them all up in sections and send them over to uh, Amy, the production assistant, and see where it goes from that. But uh, if you're lucky enough, great. If you're not, well, there's always next time. Um, so I'm feeling they might start growing a bit now. Right, I'll see you all next time, and probably be some more interesting stuff to tell you then. But uh, nothing all this, but just normal things. Uh, by the way, if you want to know what it's like living in Dublin, uh, I'll put the link up to the blog I've, I've put up purely about living in Dublin for your 3D CGI guy, right? Called the man in apartment 12. That's me. This is apartment 12, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a crap name, but um, so obviously I'll look at it and see if it's for you. Right? If it is, yeah. I'll see you then.